All right, this is Elite Dangerous. I have my cargo full of fruits and vegetables. I am about to jump to a next the next system. Just waiting to get out of range here of the mass lock, which I am now out of. And so I can say the magic word: engage. Drive charging. And away we go. Oh boy. I haven't been to iBootis yet since uh, the update. I understand that the uh, these particular stars, or single star. Oh, okay. I misunderstood. I thought they were um, a contact binary in iBootis. It must have been a different system. It's where the suns, the stars are actually, it's a binary system, but the, the stars are actually in contact with each other. Which is a real thing in real life. Let's see, I want to go to Chengdu. Alright, so this is Super Cruise. And... Traveling at um, now 15, 16 times the speed of light. Things are measured in light speed. Gravity is pulling us faster, so we got to slow down. I don't. Don't ask me to explain why they chose to do the things that they did. It would be nice to have a nice little visual Doppler effect because of light speed, but that's me. Oh, planet's jumping around a bit. I gotta bleed off all the speed by flying in circles and loops. Even though it said slow down, I could still disengage because I met the two criteria to disengage safely. Uh, needed distance and speed. Distance needed to be within 1,000 kilometers, and speed needed to be within 1,000 kilometers per second. So within one second of um, hitting the target, I can disengage, which is pretty dang close. If you think about it, actual distances. And this is the strange limbo state where it's loading up the next world, and hopefully it won't crash on me again. And hopefully I won't accidentally dump all my cargo. So looking at the station, I know exactly what side I'll need to approach to be able to enter it, because um, of the way it's rotating. And fortunately, very luckily, it's the one directly in front of me that I'm facing. Uh, because the aperture of these uh, geodesic stations is always um, on the side that is rotating counterclockwise. Which is a handy little tip I learned from a guy named Scott Manley. Helped out quite a bit once I uh, figured that out. <coughs> so anyway, uh, I am using voice attack, and I can ask it. Profile. Elite Dangerous. Or, who's listening? Voice attack is listening. Yeah, I added those commands just so I could check easily if it were running or not. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut through it a little bit so I have time to do things and explain, is select the target, which is the station, and request docking. Request granted. Yeah, and my request was granted, and so now, as I approach the aperture, I'm looking for traffic. 
make sure I avoid it, and I'm going to find the side that has the green lights. They're not always visible. I kind of wish they were, but I can tell it's this side. I'm going to say shields. Systems at full. I'm doing that so that uh, in case I were to collide with something within the station or another ship, I have that extra power to the shields to be able to help me survive. Otherwise, I could blow up. So now I'm aligning the tower of my docking pad. Cutting throttle. Gear. Alright, now gear is deployed. Which then puts my control scheme into a landing override, which changes the control slightly. So I have very brief lateral thrusts instead of s continuous thrust. Docking successful. Okay. That was a little rough. And we're docked in the station. And we get to look around. And watch other people dock. Yeah. So let's enter the hangar. That is so cool. Alright. Starport services. Alright, so I had fruits and veggies come down to fruits and veggies and here I see in the cargo I've got four and I only I bought them at a fairly cheap price so it's telling me that I'm going to make 508 in profit and now I have a thousand five hundred and eight credits in my wallet so Chango I need oh I don't have enough for fish it's not even a what no, that's not. That is, this is fish. All right. Fish from Chango to Allen, I know from the premium beta, is the most profitable run between the two systems, which was the most profitable run in the premium beta that I know of. Oh, I can only buy three. Drat. Enjoy your fish. I will. Yeah, so what else? I gotta fill out the rest of my cargo. So I'm gonna just take No, I just sold a bunch of fruits and veggies. I'm not gonna buy more. So Owlin is like a luxury um uh vacation resort station And I am in an agriculture and industrial economy station. So that means they will have cheap machines and cheap food, more or less. Let's, uh, you know what, algae? I'm just going to take one algae. Just a bucket of pond water. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Okay, we're good. Get out of that. And so I can take a look at, uh, uh looks like I need to refill, refill my fuel tank. So I'll just do that. It's fairly cheap. 14 credits for 0.68 tons. That's, uh, the main thing to look at for in the new beta version. Uh, bulletin board. I can pick up, um, missions. Cleaners wanted. Maids? Oh, carrier signal decryption, message received, okay, here is the deal. I want the ship dangerous waste collection reduced to debris. I want it in pieces. I want the pieces to be burned to ash. I want the ash scattered seven systems wide. Look, I have money, okay? A big fat credit line, and it's yours. Just find this ass, wherever it is, and burn it down. Laws be damned. They'll pay me 3,000 credits, and I have about two days to complete it, if I accept it. Uh, mission will fail on ship to scrap target count. One target? Oh, okay, that's the name of the ship. Dangerous Waste Collection. It's the name of the ship. Okay, so it's basically a bounty. Work jobs available in Dahan and Aaron and
Um, you killed three targets. They gave you 750 credits. That doesn't sound very good to me. Gold purchased at this airport. Make credits fast. Oh, wow! <sighs> no. I already have full cargo. And I know where I'm going. Well, okay, yeah. So I come out of these market contacts. I can do... Check out my pi my pilot's license. I have no criminal record on my license. Um, there's a local security office where I think I can turn in bounties. Or pay off any... Um, pay off any bounties that I have on me. And go to the black market. There's a black market here. I want to sell illegal goods. Probably the goods I just bought. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Nothing. Before, in the premium beta, this wouldn't display unless you had something you could actually sell. It's kind of an underhand, under the table type deal. Like walking down a dark alley. You know. Guy in a trench coat says you want to asks if you want to buy a watch. No, but I got a watch to sell you. Alright, so we're going to return to surface. I could just hit launch and it'll do the same thing and launch me anyway, but I want to take a minute to just look around the station. Effectively, what's happened is that it's turned my ship around 180 degrees so I can face the exit instead of facing the back since I'm all the way on the back. You can hear the clamps disengaging, but I'm not ready to launch just yet. With uh, Oculus Rift, this will be probably my favorite pastime in this game if I ever get one of those things. Just sitting in a station, watching everything go by. I think it's an NPC. So, uh, taking off again is uh, fairly simple, but um, usually if you're hauling something quite valuable and you've sunk all your available credits into your cargo, so if you blow up you're going to lose all of that, you don't want to do that. Uh, it's a good idea to come to the local contacts to see um, what's flying around you. Because uh, you can take a look at this uh, other commanders to see you know, if they get a bounty, just observe where they are. Oh my. That was unfortunate for that person. Um, try to gauge... Try to get an understanding of what their behavior might be. Or just watch them and make sure they're in the clear. Uh, make sure you don't have any other traffic around you that you may be bumping into. It's basically just like pulling out of a parking lot at the mall or the grocery store or anything else. Because flying your spaceship, as I have discovered, is very much like driving a car. Ship released. Engines engaged. That was bad. Throttle on my uh, 3D Pro was at a half percent. All right. So to explain the landing gear override a little more, since I didn't have much time before I I landed, notice that uh, there on my throttle, I'm tapping it, and then it's going back to zero. I'm holding it down, and then it's going back to zero. So that's what the that's what happens when the gear is deployed. So when I say gear, gear, there it goes. Uh, oh, well, that was bad. It's now um, held at wherever I put it at last. And that was um, so by default. The default setting that I had originally didn't have that setting enabled. So I had the hardest time trying to dock and land bashing into things uh, until I discovered what that actually did and then I'm, I'm landing I'm sticking the landing almost every time so now that I'm out of the station I don't need my shields at full anymore so I'm just gonna say crap uh, I just had a uh, crash and now I'm back I spawned back at the station so I think what I was going to say was engines Engines at maximum. Okay, so then redistribute my power to engines so I have, you know, I can go faster. Because uh, the shields were not needed since I cleared the hazards, at least the immediate ones. And so I'm just flying outside of the mass locked area, which I'm now clear of, but I don't have a destination set. So I need to come down here to Owlin. Lock destination. And so I'm using my navigation directional indicator to line up the nose of my craft to that. And it's, oh, okay, it's the same place it was 
That's where Alan was right next to that uh, that nebula uh, in premium data. Good deal. And so now I can say the magic word. Engage. Drive charging. It's one of my favorite magic words. And it charges. And making sure that uh, my heat doesn't hit 100%. There's that other dot on my radar there. Going through hyperspace. Whew. Look at those flares. Cool. All right. And so I'm coming down, finding Owlin Enterprise, and locking the destination so that it is now the target in the navigational indicator. I can fly more or less at full speed. But I'm not at full speed right now because I am um, fighting the gravitational pull of a star, so it's not at 100% throttle or speed. There we go, now I'm starting to speed up, but I'm going to need to slow back down. And take this a little bit at a time. The trick is to not overshoot it, or I can just fly at half speed. I finally bothered to um, map. 100% uh, and 50% speed to a couple of buttons, and I also have it on uh, voice attack for some reason. There's another player. Let's see if I can see him. Should be here in contacts. 106 light seconds, he's approaching. Probably going to Outland Enterprise, just like I am. So I think it might be worth, um, in Super Cruise, when approaching a, a station, is to always fly at half throttle, just to avoid the uh, difficulties of... Whoa, what's going on here? Django Dock, no fire zone left. Okay, thank you for letting me know that. Oh, my contact was lost. I think he dropped out. Yeah. Instead of having to deal with flying in loops and circles just to slow down and bleed off speed, it's just easier to fly it. Uh, half stick. Get there about the same. So I'm watching uh, the target on the screen there, Outland Enterprise, and as soon as it gets below a thousand, I'm gonna hit J. I could say jump or engage, but and do the same thing because that got wrapped up into that key as well. They combined two functions into one key from the premium beta into standard beta, which threw me off a bit. So I may have to add those other voice commands for the other function into that key. Anyway, so this is Allen Enterprise and the Orbis Space Station. Do a bit of a fly over there. And good habit to check contacts, make sure, you know, just see what's around. Check out the traffic. Because as I have said before, it's analogous to pulling into a parking lot and finding a parking space at the mall or grocery store. Because it is. It really is. So when you're the appropriate distance away, you can request docking. Request granted. Thank you. So I'm going to be landing at pad 21. Nope. Yep. So I'm here on the rotational axis of this whole spiel. Oh, wait a minute, I was going to do a bit of flying around first. I got 10 minutes to dock, it's not like it's a big deal. The first time I've seen the Orbis in, uh, in Beta 1, 
So I understand they added three uh, 3D objects inside this uh, habitat. Maybe we can see Matt Damon down there. Or Cheryl Copley. Whoa. Strut. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Whew. That was close. The proximity sensor went off. You may have heard that. Guess it could be flying the opposite direction. In its direction instead of the opposite direction. Anywho, let's loop this around on the dock, dock here. So, procedure. Uh, start your slowing down, I think, would be good to set your shields to full. Shields. Systems at full. Shields are wrapped into systems, so that's why she says systems. Because it also, uh, sis uh, radiators are also tied into your system. Whoop. Oh, yep, just like traffic, give yield to other, uh, other ships. Throttle to half or 75. And 21 is right there. So I like to keep the top of that um, little support tower there just above the edge of the nose of my ship. Warning. Landing gear not oh, deployed. thanks for reminding me. Gear. There we go. So that turns on the override. Line up. There. Awesome. Starport services. I don't always find going down into the hangar very useful. I mean, if you're just here to sell and then buy some commodities, you don't need to bother with the whole animation. Uh, that's right, I had fish! Some trout a la creme there, and algae. Cool. Well, uh, that's... Uh, Basic overview of uh, entrance and egress of stations and flying between systems. I had to think about what I was going to say there. Uh, yeah, cool. This is an amazing game. Uh, I could see spending many hours, just half of it spent inside the station watching other ships rubber band back and forth. Uh, <laughs> I think those are NPCs. I don't know why they just sit there in the center. All right, yeah, okay. That's an anaconda jumping around. So, no, maybe not. Anaconda's not on the list. It looked like an anaconda. Yeah, that's all messed up. They gotta fix the AI. Large percentage of the other ships you're going to see in this game, once the game is live, will be NPCs. Because of maybe 50,000 players, which I think is a generous guess, um, there are over 400 billion star systems um, to share. So seeing other players will be very scarce. So they have to fill up the, the space with NPCs and such. Anyhow, I'm going to sign off. Until uh, next time.